Hello, my artsy friends. Jessica Sanders here today for the Ranger blog. I'm super excited to be here. I want to share a great way to create a cohesive two page spread in the blue journal with the white burlap and the watercolor paper. Now, I don't know about you, but I found it a little bit challenging sometimes to combine two different types of substrates. So I thought this would be a really fun challenge. Now, it's really simple and easy. All you do is you overlap the burlap <laughs> on top of the watercolor page you're going to be working on. So we're working on the back side of the burlap, basically, and we're going to spray through the holes. When I open up the page to the spread I'll be working on, I have that beautiful burlap texture on the watercolor paper. Isn't that fantastic? I just, I'm so excited. Also notice that that spray soaked through the burlap and I have color on both pages that sort of mirror each other. Next, I'm just going to take some of Dina's white gesso and work on some of the white areas of the page. I, I did not pre-gesso these pages because I wanted that color to be soaked in, but now I want to add some gesso so that I can work on top of it. I'm also using this to add white to the white burlap page because the white burlap page is not really white. It's a light cream color, right? And I really want to tie these two pages together. I wanted to have the burlap texture on the watercolor paper and the white of the watercolor paper on the burlap, but I don't want to cover it up completely because the burlap is just gorgeous. One of the things I'm going for is also to repeat the texture. So the burlap has the little square texture. And so I thought Dina's paint comb called squares with some texture paste would be a great way to add even more squares to my texture. So I'm using the Ranger opaque matte texture paste and it's really thick. I'm applying it with the palette knife as you can see through Dina's paint comb. Now the paint combs are a little bit more thick than stencils. So when I apply the texture paste through the stencil, I'm going to get a heavy texture. It's lifted up off the page quite a bit and it's going to take a little while to dry, but it's just so worth it. And since the texture paste is white, I'm sort of just using it to add even more white space to both of my pages and to continue the areas of white gesso. Now my white gesso is not completely dry yet, but that's okay because I have to wait for the texture paste to dry before I can move on to the next step. I also just played around with my palette knife and just added some texture just with the palette knife just to create more visual interest. Now, as I mentioned, we have to wait for this to dry and that gives us the perfect opportunity to work on our focal point. So I've got some chipboard. I have some collage sheets, which you can't see in the video, but they're around. And I'm just going to spray my chipboard with the gloss acrylics. It just creates such beautiful color and texture and it's super fast. So I'm repeating the same colors I used before, which are eggplant, cheddar, turquoise, and magenta. And I also sprayed tissue paper, which you can see here. And I just cut that up and tore it into little small pieces because I want it to look like confetti on the page. So I'm collaging it on the page and I'm using the gel medium and a palette knife. I find that super easy, but of course you could use a paintbrush. And that would work just as well. I just find it's very easy to clean a palette knife, easier than a paintbrush, so I like to use it. It's very effective. So another thing that I also applied as I was doing this was some stickles. I had some really sparkly pink taffeta stickles that I wanted to add a little sparkle to my page, but for whatever reason, I did not get that on film. But you'll see it in the next clip when I move on to the next section. But I just wanted you to know I just used the stickles on the palette knife and applied it in small amounts around the page where I had my little confetti pieces. Now I'm using a tag that I found because I like the cinnamon on it, but you could easily use one of Dina's tags and Big Chat to create this. And I also have some strings from my journal, some denim and some canvas, not canvas, burlap strings that are from the blue edition journal, which is what I'm working in today, right? 
and I'm adding some stickles there to the little strings as you can see. I attach those strings with the tiny attacher and that's going to be part of my focal point. Next, I'm adding a little bit of white gesso to the edges of my tag. I don't want it to stand out too much from that white and it is that cream color, which happens to match the burlap color on the other page, right? But I want to pull in that white as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of gesso with my finger. And now I'm just going to add everything to my page with the ultra thick gel from Dina. So it works great because these are heavier objects than the collage tissue. They need a heavier adhesive and so the ultra thick gel medium is perfect. And I'm placing them on my page. And now I feel like I have a very cohesive, beautifully pulled together page. A few little drops of gloss acrylic spray, right? And I have room to journal in here if I want to. There's plenty of white space and it's a really pretty page. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Big thank you to Ranger for inviting me to be here on your blog today. I really appreciate it. I always love playing with Dina Wakely products and Ranger products. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you very soon.